time trading system, we'll be discussing about the breakouts, the breakout trading, you know. So many people actually find it very difficult to trade the breakout strategy, especially when they are wrong. Especially when it is in the rally, when it's in the trend and the rest. But today we'll be sharing on key important aspects you need to consider when trading the breakout strategy. And today we'll be discussing on the reasons why something like this. You can see we have a breakout from this point. There's a breakout here at this particular bar here. Yeah. And then price did this. I did this instead and drop. So very quickly, that is what we'll be discussing, the types of breakouts. Remember we have the breakout type and style, and I talked about the style one, style two, style three, and style four. So, but for now, for the course of this video purpose, I'll be discussing just this, why breakout fails sometimes. Another example is this particular breakout here. Let me see. Okay, another example, I'm trying to look for an example. Is this particular breakout here? We have a breakout at this zone. But price drop back down. We had a pure breakout at this zone. Because breakout price drop back down. We have a pure breakout at this particular zone. But price went back up. So very quickly, we'll be discussing about this. We'll be discussing about this very, very quickly. And in order for us to get the particular reason why we have a breakout and there is a fake out instead, instead of price to go our way, price is actually going the other way. We have to First of all, understand a real breakout. And in the real breakout, you can check for my other video to know more about the real breakout. The real breakout. Now, what we actually wanted to know is this. Why did this particular price refuse to continue the movement? Now, I'm gonna share a particular, I'm gonna share this now remember when price form a range for example this is a range and we have a breakout according to the breakout style it's supposed to go back retest make the retest then drop but instead what we are seeing is this the range price breaks through and instead it went back up, even going above our range, just like we have here. This was the range, this was the breakout and price went back up. Just like we have here, this was the range, this was the breakout bar and price dropped back down. Just like we have here, this was the range. Yeah, sorry, this was the range. This was the breakout and price dropped back down. So what causes this particular reason? It is very, very simple to understand. And that is what I'll be showing us now. Now, I want us to understand something. I want us to understand something. The important aspect you want to take note of here is this, this particular point. You see these two bars, one and two. These are the important, important things, important area you want to take note of. The important things you want to take note of. And what are the areas I will explain? These two areas are what? First of all, the breakout bar, 
and the second opposition bar. This is the breakout bar. The breakout bar. And the next one is what? The opposition bar. Now, the breakout bar and the opposition bar. We have this. Every time there is a breakout, every time there is a breakout, we always have this. Because the opposition bar is going to take back price back up, retest price back up before it now it drops. You know, when I mean back up to touch the one hour moving average, you know, according to our breakout rules and strategy, you can actually click on the video to watch more about the breakout. But now, the key reason, remember when I talked about changing their hands, is because at this zone, after they form their range, and breakouts, they actually change their hand between the BO bar, the breakout bar, and the position bar. They change their hand here, form our entry pattern. Then they took back price back up. Now, how will you know that they are actually changing their hand here? And that is why it brings us back to our what? Time trading. Remember, we make use of what? Time trading is a time trading system, trying to make use of what? our time frame to pick out trades, to analyze the market. So what they do here is very simple. And what is that? They did this. They did this. We'll flip over to the daily time frame. Don't forget the daily time frame. This is, this is the what? Since we are making use of the the weekly time frame, we are going to skip over to the daily time frame. Now, when we skip over to the daily time frame, what are we looking for? What are we looking at? Country B. Let's look for our rectangles area. Good. Now, let me take this out. Our rectangle area. All right, now remember this. This is the first particular one. Now, if you notice, when you come down next to the what? To the intermediate time frame of where the time frame break out from. This is what you want to look out for. Look at. You come back to the weekly. This is where the weekly time frame break out from. Yeah. We have the breakout here. Don't forget. This is the close of the breakout. And we have the breakout. This was the range. Now, you want to see listing and listing. You want to see price. You want to see price from a particular range a particular range in the intermediate time frame. I repeat, you want to see price from a particular range caused by an opposition bar or more then break out from it during the week to continue your what your trade in the trend direction yes you want to see look at you want to see a you want to see price form a particular range caused by the opposition bar or more then break out 
during the week to continue your trading direction caused by an opposition bar or more. In the ITF intermediate time frame, you know what I call intermediate time frame, then break out from it during the week to continue your trade. So you want to see this in the intermediate time frame. And what is this? This is the particular area. This is the particular area where we have the what the breakout. Remember, this is the breakout level. This is where our breakout bar course closes. Can you see? Let's go back to the weekly. This is the weekly time frame. Look at it. This is the week of the weekly time frame. Remember, I, when I talk about support and extent, I like to cover the week. Now let's go back to daily. Can you see? Can you see that? This particular bar happened on the 8th, 12th. This one happened 13th, 12th. This is the particular bar. This one happened 10, 8, 12, 13. Now we saw the breakout. We saw this breakout. This already is a sign that price is going to drop more. But what happened? If you go back down to our one hour time frame, you will notice something. They change their hand, yeah. They change their hand, yeah. And that was why what they shot price up. They shot price up because they changed their hand at this level. And remember, according to their rules, we we're supposed to wait for what a retracement back to the what the four-hour level area. This is it. But price did not get there. Instead, it keep on going higher. Drop back to this place, then went ahead and it keeps on dropping. Now let's see another example. Let's see another example. Let's see another example. Okay, I actually, this. We go down to the daily. And this is the weekly close. It goes like a marabuzu. Now we we'll go down to the daily. Can you see? The opposition bar here is what? Bearish. And we are waiting for a what? A close above this bar. Look at this is on um, 23, 24, and this is 25. Our bar closes here, 21, yeah. Now, if you look at it, we are looking for the word, the first it closes here, we are looking for what? A particular range caused by an opposition bar or more in the ITF time frame, then break out from it during the week to continue your trade in the trend. Can you see? This was the first opposition bar, this particular bar here. This was the first opposition bar. And price did not close above it at all during the week. Why? They, they've changed their hand with this opposition bar. And that was why they dropped price down. It's as simple as this. We continue again with spots and spots and spots. Let's go back to weekly. Good. Now let's take use of this. Let's make use of this one. This particular point, first of all, before we have the breakouts. Now, price closes here. This was the breakout level. Good. Now, this is the particular bar that closes, it closes around here. Now, let's go back to the daily time frame. See what we got. Good. Now, can you see? It dropped. This is the particular bar. 17, 18, 16, 14. Okay. It closes here. We have what? 16, 18. 17, rather 18. Then look at the first opposition bar. The first position bar below, below that particular close. This is it. 
we are supposed to have another word, an other breakout here. Yeah. As mean we have price breakout from this particular bar, then what will happen? The sell will continue. This is for a fast drop. For instance, they change their hand here. Yeah. They change their hand from this zone and took price what upward. Another example. Let's go back. Um, this is the weekly time frame. This was the breakout of the week. Now let's go back to the daily. This was the particular day it closes. Now let's go back to the daily. Control B. All right, this is it. Can you see? This is it. Press is six. Eight. Now this is it. Eight. The next bar open on Monday, on Tuesday it went higher. Then on Thursday, can you see this is the first opposition bar? We are supposed to have seen a close above this range for price to continue going higher during the week. But instead, what happened? They formed their opposition bar and changed their hand with it. Then they dropped price backward. That is what they always do. Now let's come back to this particular point. This. This point. Now we have a breakout here. This bar actually breaks out. It breaks out, can you see? And now what happened? If you notice, there is no close. There is no close around this support field. Remember, I, I make use of resistance and support as a field. There is no close around here. Now let's take let's use these two examples because if you look at it, the next week drops. So let's go back to daily and see control B. Good. Now this is it. The particular bar, where is it? Seven, nine. Okay. This is a Monday bar. It opens on Monday. Look at it. This is this opposition bar it forms. They change their hand there with the opposition bar. Then they drop it. So this is why you normally have a failed breakout from the main time. They see it as a point to change size. Now let's now take another example, a particular area where we actually have um, a particular area where we have an actual breakout and price dropping after the breakout. Now this is it. We have a breakout here. We have a breakout here. Now let's see. This is the particular level where price closed on that day. Let me um, use this. Where price close on that day? I'm trying to see if I could. I'm trying to look for a scenario whereby we have a sharp breakout after a range. That's what I'm trying to look at because this is what causes it a sharp breakout. All right, let's make use of this. On the monthly time frame, we have a breakout here. We have a breakout here. This is the breakout bar. Can you see now? The question is what causes this breakout? Now, the question rather, rather is what did they do next? Look at it. They go down to the weekly time frame. Control B. Can you see? We have the width, the breakout bar. They formed, can you see? They formed it. They form their range around here, this point in the weekly time frame, and breaks out from it. After they break out from it, what happened? We have the next bar, which is this. The next bar, which actually dropped throughout the whole world month, the next month. Can you see? 
it dropped down to this point. Why? Because they, they've cleared the range here. They've cleared the range here. They were supposed to do what? Form their formation around this opposition buy area, then shoot price back up. But instead, they formed their range. They respected the rules of breakout, then they drop. They drop it. Let's pick up another example. The same rule is applicable for the lower time frame. Let's note, note that. Let's pick up another example. Um, where we have a good breakout. All right. This is a breakout bar from this particular range. But let's make use of this. Yes. And this was the breakout here. The breakout from here on the monthly time frame. We now go back to the what the weekly. This is the breakout. This is the particular breakout where they close. Now, what did they do on the weekly time frame? The short price up. Let me see. Form their position back. Then come back to the test. Now, if you notice, price started moving when we have a clear breakout from this point. The price went up. Price went up. Can you see? Price went up. After forming the monthly range, price went up. So whatever you have a pure breakout, you want to go back. If price is going to continue immediately, let me let me draw the annotation again. The price is going to continue immediately. For example, we have this range and price breaks out. The price is going to continue immediately. Let's say this is the daily monthly time frame. And this is March. Let's say March. Now, for April, that is next month, I'm giving an example. We want to see price range around this point. Now, when it ranges and closes above, above this point in the weekly time frame, in the weekly time frame, then we cannot continue the buy. But if it does not go dark, if it does not close above this point from the weekly time frame, this point, it will drop. And it might keep on dropping until we see another word entry formation that will take the price back up. So the key is around this point. After the breakout, we want to see if they will actually form the range here, then do what? Breakouts on the weekly time frame. When they break out, they keep on pushing price backward, upward. So this is what you want to see when trading the main time frame and a breakout. You want to see price from a particular range caused by an opposition power or more in the intermediate time frame, then break out from it during the week to continue your trade in the direction. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you. And in case you don't know, this is a, a different approach to the market called time trading system, a different approach called time trading system.